YouTube, it's Bebop 7 here, and welcome back to Meech and the Rat Tribe. Now, in the last episode, we met we met lovely little Sierra here, and we have yet another wanderer in our tribe. We've actually gotten quite a few in this tribe, and I can't help but find it kind of hilarious how many we have encountered. But that's not the only thing that happened. A new leader was selected. And another Nietzscheling has become a prodigy. Uh, is she? Look at her, look at her, look at her. Stargazer was our latest prodigy. She told a story of the deity Acorn and his love for the gentle, kind fawn. And she was appointed the title prodigy. You guys said she passed, and so I, because I'm a little, a little, I'm a very fond of her, I can sort of gave her the prodigy gems. You know, you know, I, I, it was totally, it's totally real, and I didn't fudge anything, I promise you. No, she really is, though. And then our new leader was selected, and that was Quince. So she and Quince are together, and when Quince passes away, she is a lot younger. So she will be taking over once he does pass away. But they're going to be starting their family together, and she has decided to make this upper area hers. So I think in the end she might actually sit herself by this berry bush instead of going down here because uh, she has decided to let Birch and Tamarillo kind of keep the place of this tree. She much prefers being closer to the river anyway since she was born in a nest right by the river. So she's going to go ahead and she's going to go up by this berry bush and set up shop by placing down a nest and then gathering from the berries. So she's ready to have her baby. and I don't know if I've set up everything in her genetics. Boy, web time legs obsessives, but we're already fighting against that. I really wish we could do the um, normal blood clotting, but we have uh, we have not unlocked it yet. So I'm not sure what else I would like to encourage. I mean, I um, it might not be a bad idea to try and encourage Big Nose. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and I'll encourage Big Nose. I see some koi fish in there, but uh, I'll encourage Big Nose. So I'll just go ahead and check that. And I think little Saskatoon, I forgot what his challenge was. So we're gonna, I think it might have been fishing, but um, we'll go ahead and we'll just have him fish. So his challenge at the moment is fishing and I would have Braylon swim in the river, but he's that would be very dangerous. So for now, he'll collect berries, and I think Cookie's going to give him a challenge. Speaking of which, you guys have actually got tons of great ones, so I'll go look at your suggestions for that. Um, let's see. You guys have tons of really good suggestions. So, we've got, um, collect algae. So perhaps Braylon's challenge could be collecting algae. So I think Cookie's going to tell him to go collect two pieces of algae. So that's his challenge. But uh, Cookie, being the mama that she is, she is very fond of kiddos. So she's kind of sticking around to help out and just help him and take care of the babies because poor Micah is overwhelmed by how many kids he has. And Tamarillo is getting this bunny, showing off. And looks like there's a berry bush in here. So she'll take care of that. Good job, Sierra. Sorry about that. <laughs> Cammy, as usual, is insistent upon jumping up on my table. And uh, yeah, so I had to pause real quick. But Quince is kind of uh, really excited. He's about to have his first ever baby, and he's so happy that he got to be with Stargazer, our first ever storyteller. Now, it looks like there's some somebody nomming stuff over here. It's probably just a bunny. Yeah, it looks like it's just a bunny, but uh, Kausa got the rare pleasure of meeting Fennel, who was one of our first Nietzschelings that actually came over to this area. She was sister of Coneflower the Golden and our previous leader, or one of our previous leaders. So Kausa got to learn a whole other side of that family and a whole other side of the tribe that he had never known before. But uh, with these babies, I do think that some of the elder Nietzschelings that are wandering around right now are probably going to be called back because they shouldn't be. But uh, I think Potato's going to gather that guy up and he's going to wander this way. Davion is busy taking care of this berry bush and I think he 
and these guys are all traveling together. She's got a couple of poisonberry bushes, but she's not strong enough to get rid of them. So she's going to go ahead and reveal them at the very least so that we don't get uh, mistaken and accidentally hurt ourselves. But uh, I think they don't actually have any babies to look after because Gardenia is sort of taken over watching after their little sister. What is this? Um, I think we'll leave that little odd pit of tar for now. I have a feeling that those sleeping bugs are going to show up anytime soon. But they're going through the hard, difficult swamp, whereas Gardenia plans on taking little, um, little, uh, honey here, honeyberry, oh, she has such a cute name, across the river. But she is trying to be patient. She's going to try to fish for now, and it looks like Honeyberry isn't able to actually get to those fish. So we're going to wait until Honeyberry grows up, but I do think she's going to get a challenge, and that might be to just swipe down the berry bush. For now, she'll gather from it. I'm not sure. Let's look at the challenge. Uh, maybe... Let's see. I've got tons of really good ones. I guess her challenge could be get a mole. So I guess she'll go across and she'll try to find some moles that she can hunt. So I think Gardenia would give that challenge to her. And Micah's just so happy that his kids are together and are having fun, going on adventures, exploring, because that's what his lovely mate Bazia loved to do. So he's at peace and he's happy that he could also have Braylon. Even though he's his half-son, he loves him just as much. So little Braylon, let's look at you. You're so gorgeous. He actually turned out to be really, really healthy, and I am very happy with him. He is absolutely gorgeous, and I love him so much, so much. But let's uh, let's see. I really wish I could get normal blood clotting, but that uh, that won't happen for a while. At the very least, Cookie, why don't you try and get this? We do have a mole over here, and we have some some nichelings down this way. I think that Birch is going to swipe this bunny because everybody has, the, the bunnies certainly are not making things easier for themselves. Everybody has a bit of a vendetta against them because they keep taking their food, but at the same time they're all really happy because they get to practice their hunting. However, the bunnies are really, really annoying, but we're going to see if we've got any mutants moves left, and since we don't, I don't believe Quince has both slots filled. He does have a no pause, so we probably want to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and let's um, let's put let's put something to fight against the no pot in there. Maybe nimble fingers. I don't know. It might actually be nice to have some more root diggers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, digging pot in there, and we'll have to see what uh, shows up. Really excited to see what this baby will look like. Ugh. I really hope that we can get some Nichlings with violet eyes too, because I have yet to see them in the latest update, and I'm very curious to see what they'll look like. Now let's go ahead and pass the turn. Stargazer, the storyteller's first baby is gorgeous! <gasps> She's so cute! I heard a weird noise just then. Was that the noise of a baby being born? So we have little Isra. Normal eyes, she does have no paws, so I guess she would be considered blessed by Acorn because she has no paw and her life is more difficult. So she has more challenges to overcome, but she will survive. She also has a nimble finger. She ha does have big nose, which is good. And C and I immunity, but hemophilia recessive. And I'm going to quickly check to see if we can't just put normal blood Let me put normal blood clotting in there. But, uh, since that happened, I don't know what I really want to put in there. I mean, mm, I, I don't know. I guess I might just, uh, let's, let's put some fun stuff in there. Let's put, I want the violet eyes. Okay, I know this is ridiculous, but I would love the violet eyes. And I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I think I'll actually encourage the ram horns. I know that we don't necessarily need the strength, but it's nice for our Nishlings to just have them because it's an extra bit of strength that can be useful. But we're going to swipe up this bunny, and it looks like there's even more bunnies. All of the bunnies! All of the really annoying and intrusive bunnies. I think Birch is going to really start getting annoyed at these guys. And she and Temerillo have been working their best to hunt on... Oh, 
to hunt all of them. I think she'll swipe this up and then she'll jump at- oh, at these bunnies! She's chewing her best, you guys. Her daughter Nutmeg is over here. She's gonna scoot and I think- I think this bunny is gonna get swiped up. There we go. So Bitterweed has uh, left little uh, little Nutmeg to her father Tamarillo and Tamarillo is going to go and get this bunny. Show her how to do some hunting, help her work on her skills. And since that nest is open, actually, I think that Stargazer, um, I think she'd rather just make another nest. So she and Quince are just going to have a baby right here. And they're going to stay up here because she really likes being up here. She much prefers it. And Quince, I think he's going to work on clearing things out. And poor, let's see, you've already completed your test. But I think he's really happy to go fishing. So he's just trying to get some fish. Whereas his little brother, Braylon, is trying to collect up the koi. Not the koi, sorry. The algae. And oh, there's moles over here. Gardenia, you need to take this. <gasps> there's a mole. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're going to get it to turn around again. Okay, so if you go here. Slatch it. Snatch it. I said slatch it. Snatch it. Slice it. There we go. I was saying I was trying to say both, but there we go. We actually got it. So I do believe that Gardenia, very impressed by how fast she got the mole the second she received the challenge, is actually going to label Honeyberry a prodigy as well. So we're going to go ahead and give her those special blue gems because she was very quick and very patient. She used her, her smarticles, you guys. She knew that moles resided in this hole, and so she just simply stepped away, and she waited, waited patiently for them to return. And now she is a prodigy! So I'm very proud of her for that, and her little brother, well her older brothers, are over here, and they're exploring this side of things. And Kari is trying to learn how to, um, she's trying to help everybody out. I think, uh, let's see, can Potato get over there? Let's actually scoot Davion forward, and Potato and Gardenia are going to meet eventually. How old is she? She still has a bit of time, so they're going to meet soon, and they'll get to have some babies. But uh, I think he is going to go further this way. And Potato's going to go this way. He's going to say hello to his sister, because he sees her now. And I think that uh, she might mention that she met someone pretty cool, someone like Gardenia, you know? You know, you know, you know. But uh, we're going to go ahead and have uh, Koenai grab that. And, oh, did I call you something else earlier? I don't know what it was. But uh, she and Davion and Dima are all traveling together and they have made it to this side of everything. So good job, you guys. You have done very, very well. Thanks to them, we're exploring this side of things. There's another poison berry bush, but there's also a normal berry bush. And there are tons and tons of roots up there. So, yes, we've got quite a bit to do. And we still have some nichelings that we need to move. And I think Cookie, being a mommy figure, she's going to come back for poor, poor little, um, little Sierra here. And I don't think we can move any other nichelings. I think we've moved everybody that I can move. So, I guess Sierra will just be happy trying to collect from this for now. So she's going to gather that up, and I think we have another baby to look forward to. Don't believe anybody else has turns. So we're going to go ahead, zoom in on Stargazer the Storyteller, and we're going to see what her next baby is going to be. Really excited. So excited. Whoopsie doodles. Hello. Um, did I name you? I never named you. Just realized that. So Isra, let's see. Her challenge... Um, she has to tear down a berry bush. That's her challenge. She has to try to tear down a berry bush. Let's go ahead and let's give her a brand new name. Parsley. Oh, that's kind of cute. So we'll go ahead and name her Parsley. So little Parsley has to tear down a berry bush. She's going to do her absolute best to do so. But we have Stargazer the Storytellers next baby to look forward to and I am so so excited let's let's get a little closer there we go how you doing stargazer my lovely lady you alrighty we're gonna go ahead and see what her baby's gonna be alright 
Let's see. <gasps> what? 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 Noises. <gasps> she has the big ears. She has the big ears. Seiko, you are blessed. And she has some really lovely spots. And oh, she is so cute. She is so, so cute. <laughs> she also has no paw. Oh, my word. Actually, we need to quickly come over to you, little one, and give you the blessed gem as well. Seiko! What the hex? What the hex? I need to give you a really good name. Oh. Oh, that's a cute one. Um, the first one I saw was Date, but I don't think that really fits her, so I'm gonna name her Dragon Fruit. So, we have little Dragon Fruit. Aww, Dragon Fruit. How cute. So, little dragon fruit right here, she's adorable as, as can be, she's really, really cute. And, oh, look at this, she has big ears. <laughs> look at her, she's got big ears. And she's got F and I, perfect blood clotting, ah. Oh, dragon fruit, you are stunning, but, oh. Of course you would sneak up on our blind, Nietzscheling. Let's go ahead and slice this guy. And Cookie, Cookie has like no attack, but she's being, she's a very protective mother, you guys. And this terrible, terrible Birina has threatened her little, her little friend. So he is now swiped up. <gasps> Birina baby! Birina baby! Ah, my word! You wanna know what your challenge is, little nutmeg? You wanna know what your challenge is? Well, actually, you can't make it there in time, so somebody else gets the challenge. Somebody! Um. Oh, you already got your challenge. Everybody's too far. I think Micah might come over and invite this little one. Uh, do they do they not move until they're older? Because if that's the case, then what I'll do... You know what? No, I can't risk it. We're inviting. We're sort of inviting. He's friendly now! <gasps> oh, that is so cute! And you know what? Your challenge is not Meg. It's hunting a bunny. Hunt a bunny. Get that bunny! Get that bunny, Nut Meg! Get it! Get it! Your father is gonna gather up this so that it can't eat it. And Stargazer, these guys are gonna have tons and tons of babies. So let's see. Let's just jump her over here. She can um actually I want him to breed with her so she can collect berries. He'll breed with her. She's pregnant now. She'll jump back in here, swipe up her berries, stay around her lovely daughters. And we have Quince taking care of some of the grass over here. We have some bunny meat over here from Kausa's Catch. So many bunnies. Oh my word. But he is going to uh, wave to his family. And little Braylon is going to work on his quest, his challenge, which is gather two pieces of algae. So he's over here, and I think he's going to jump this way to see if he can't spot any more algae. He's already got some of it done, so I think it would be considered a success. But uh, I cannot see any more algae this way, little one. So maybe you want to go back to whoopsie doodles. Maybe you want to go back this way here. Let's just zoom out. That way I can see better. Maybe it would be better for you to go back this way. That might be... That might be a better thing, but I don't know if uh, if it's like you can't see it unless you go to it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But it looks like that mole is about to disappear as well. So we're losing a lot, but we're also getting a lot. Okay, Birch. I think Birch is going to breed with her mate again. So this bunny is going to get killed. No breeding. No breeding. She'll collect it and... I think, ah oh, fudge, she's not going to be able to jump in the nest. So why don't you jump over here, you breed with your mate then, you guys can wait to have another baby. We have quite a few kiddos already and I'm starting to get jumbled with the quest. So I think maybe next time I'll try to assign one way ahead of time. But Honeyberry is now fully grown and she is also a prodigy because she completed her challenge like straight away. So she is going to, oh, I have to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Now I can see. And it looks like Kwanasi has passed away and Davion is currently in mourning because they were really close friends. But ugh, Honeyberry can finally make it across. However, she is going to do some fishing. So now that they are able to come up here, uh, Gardenia is going to very happily show her 
everything that she's seen and go on adventures with her, whereas Potato is probably going to circle around to meet them. Um, he can't strike that down, so I guess for now he might just try to go around. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my word. So I guess he's, I guess he and Dima and Davion are going to kind of let the girls know that they're headed over, they're headed over, they're making their way over. And, oh, of course there's a bunny. So many bunnies! It is unbelievably ridiculous how many bunnies there are. It's cuckoo crazy, you guys. Cuckoo crazy. We've got carnivore meat, we've got a baby bearina, and I'm... Who's gonna possibly even breed with this little bearina? Who? Who, I ask you? And I'm not sure. Maybe Nutmeg, because Nutmeg's a very fierce little lady, and she still has to get a bunny. But, uh, hmm. And I forgot what your challenge was, little parsley. Oh, my word. I need to pick challenges for these guys. I think dragon fruit has to find, um, I think dragon fruit's challenge is to find gardenia. <gasps> Whoops, I passed the turn. Whoopsie. But her challenge will be to find gardenia. Looks like we have a very lovely little guy down there. But her challenge will be to find gardenia and her sister's challenge. I think will be to dig up roots, possibly. So I think she'll look for some roots then. So she's gonna sniff, try to find some roots, and she's finding some up this way. So she's gonna go up here to where her dad is, and she's gonna try to dig there. And we have a little baby down here. So let's go ahead and let's see. He looks a lot like his father, except he doesn't have the water body. Oh, I kind of want to name him something similar to Quince. Um, oh, he does have webbed hind legs recessive, so... And we really don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and put normal hind legs. I'm going to quickly check mark that. But Duke knew. Oh, he looks a lot like his dad. He is F and A. Do they all have F in their unity? No, she is C and I, and she is F and I. Okay, so at least we have some Nietzschelings without F, because that is really frustrating, having so much of the same immunity. But uh, let's go ahead and rename Duke New here. Uh, gonna do another scroll, and we're gonna see what I land on. Grisha! Well, okay, so Grisha, and that uh, doesn't seem to mean anything, so we have Grisha. That's actually a really cute name, I like that one. Thank you guys for suggesting it. So we have Grisha here, and he looks a lot like his dad. He's absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, so stunning. And then we have cute baby Barina, who I think Cookie being a mummy, being the mummy mummy that she is, and uh, just real sweetheart that she is. She's going to sit over, and she's going to start cooing over the little baby. She's going to take care of him, make sure he's okay. And I think Micah's a little little stunned by all this. He's going to go back to his tree. He came over, helped fight, um, he tried some new things, but I think, um, I think he's just gonna take some comfort in he and, uh, his and Vazia's tree. And Saskatoon, on the other hand, he's kind of shocked by these events. I think he's gonna dig up stuff, but he's not really gonna move around much, whereas Sierra will. She's, uh, she wants to learn some new things, so she's gonna wander around and learn some new things, as I just said. I'm not sure what Dragon Fruit's challenge was, I forgot. Um, I need to go back up and see all the challenge suggestions, but Stargazer's gonna collect this, jump up here, they're going to breed again, they're having as many babies as possible, because he's about to pass away, and she's gonna jump straight back in the nest, and now Little Parsley, I think she's gonna try to follow Braylon, who is currently going down this way, and I think he's going to be let off the hook because it turns out there's not a lot of algae around here, so he can't really do much gathering. Oh, never mind. He can do some gathering. So actually, um, Gardenia, why don't you go ahead and swipe this up? It looks like she scared a mole. But uh, Braylon's going to sit over here and set that stuff up. Actually, Gardenia, why don't you go ahead and collect this, clear out some more of the grass. We've got some bunnies over here. Terrible, terrible bunnies. I think Potato is definitely going to slice this one up. And his brother Dima will collect it for him. Clear out the grass. Clear out the grass. Clear out the grass. And then Potato has to jump around. 
And what do you know? He has found a nest. And Dima, as usual, is going to sit and kind of claim the nest for, his, for a moment. Just to relax. He just wants to relax a little bit. So he's going to kind of tease his brother and take over that. Whereas Potato kind of wants to claim it as his own. Um, come on. Do you want fish? Why don't you fish for us, huh? Honeyberry is working on fishing right now. But I think she's going to jump up and join Gardenia in just a second. We have a few more Nichlings that we need to move around. For example, let's see, Quince needs to collect up some grass. And I think he's going to go over here now. We have Kausa over here who might actually just work on clearing this area. And he has opened up another area to the river. We've almost connected these sides. And Nutmeg, she managed to swipe a bunny, but she has not actually killed one. So I think being a stubborn little little spice that she is, she's going to look around and try to find some of her own bunnies to kill. She just, to get some bunnies and show it off to her parents and show that she is a good hunter. Whereas her parents are just kind of sitting over here and they're dealing with the grass, they're dealing with the bunny, over, overriding situation. There's so many bunnies. So many ridiculous bunnies, like just really. But uh... Mama Birch here is going to sit in her nest and then she's going to try to eat these acorns. She's going to try to pry them open. But uh, just seem to having too much success and I don't know who will fall in love with this Barina. I'm actually very curious. So let's see if I go here. Aww, can I please rename him? Okay, that's it. We're going to give him a name. Aww. So, let's see. There's actually a really cute one. There's Constantine, which means firmly established. So maybe we, you know what, let's just say the Barina's name given by Cookie is Constantine. So Constantine, I think his, I don't know if she would give him a challenge. He's, do, I, I don't know, she might. But uh, I do think that little, um, little dragon fruit needs a challenge, so we're gonna Girl, and I'm gonna go look at your challenge suggestions because you guys give amazing helpful <laughs> challenge suggestions so perhaps um oh maybe I think parsley is supposed to tear down a berry bush okay so parsley is going to go ahead and try to tear down a berry bush then but uh I'm not sure with with uh I am not sure about dragon fruit so you know what, I think dragon fruit might have to, I think she might have to find a nest. So that's her challenge. She has to go find a nest, so she has to do quite a bit of traveling in order to do so. And I think she might go across the river and hopefully find a nest, so she'll find one. Then again, maybe it's a nest that she hasn't used? Huh. That's a curious thought, but let's see. Anybody? Nope, nobody needs moves. We have one last baby to look at. And if you guys think that perhaps she could just find a nest that we've already found, or maybe she has to find a new nest, perhaps she could find a rock? That would be fun. Maybe she could find a rock. I do want her to breed with Constantine, but we'll have to see. If you guys have any ideas of uh, who Constantine could breed with, let me know. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to pass the turn. Okay, whoopsie doodles. Hello, you're so pretty. I can't wait to see your baby. Passing the turn. <gasps> Another big ear baby. Oh, we have some big ears. Oh my goodness, Kudo. Oh, you're so cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. Ugh, you guys are getting some bad genetics though. So I'm gonna go ahead and fight against this. Um, we're gonna put some normal paw and normal hind legs. So there we go. We have Kudo, and he actually is really, really cute. He's so cute. He has the same mane color as his brother, but he's got the big nose, big ears. He does have hemophilia, which sucks, but I don't think we're able to put anything else in the mutations yet. I still can't do this one yet, and that is so frustrating to me. But uh, Gardenia and Potato might be having babies in the next turn, and little Constantine is growing up, so if you guys think that maybe one of these nests should count as um, Dragon Fruit's challenge. Uh, let me know. And let me know who you think Constantine should breed with. But I do think that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. But i got to be bopping out out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!